Alrighty, today what we are going to do is we are going to do a little versus video against the Hilti and the Makita low range ha half inch impact wrench. Now, please keep in mind, these for both of these companies, these are their very low range impact wrenches. Both companies have a much higher range impact wrench. All right, so like when I did unboxing a test video for this, people were saying that this is garbage because it's not powerful. And the same thing with this Hilti. Uh, they said it's not powerful and it's garbage, don't even, don't even bother. But not everyone wants a high high range impact wrench. So this is for the people that just need a low range one where they don't need to use an impact driver with an adapter. They get straight to the anvil. Now there is a difference between an impact wrench and an impact driver. Now it's not just the anvil. It's not just this, you know, a half inch or three eighths inch or, you know, like compared to a quarter inch hex collet. But I have a couple of series of tests to line up. And like I said, I will be involving the torque test to see what tool could bust the nut fastest. But yeah, so let's look at the specs really quick and get to it. All right, for the Makita, this is a half inch impact wrench. It does have a glow in the dark uh, ring around it so you could find your tool in the dark. And we will be using a four amp hour battery for this. Battery is full. All right, so the model number for this is XWT11, 18 volt system. This is four speed settings. That is uh, slow, medium, and high, and the fourth uh, setting is for reverse. Automatic feature. So, so yeah, but it has three speeds, uh, three real speed settings and one auto feature for reverse. On right, speed one, it is 1600 RPM. Speed two, 2100 RPMs. On speed three, 2800 RPMs. All right, so for the impacts per minute, it is 0 to 1800 on speed 1, 0 to 2600 on speed 2, and 0 to 3500 on speed 3. And so like I said, it's a low range impact wrench. This is not as powerful as its mid range and high range brother. Now, I do not believe America gets the uh, their mid range impact wrench. I think Europe gets the mid range impact wrench. And so, or, or Japan, I forgot, uh, or both of them. Uh, but America does not get the mid-range impact wrench. We only get the low and high. So that is the Makita, which it looks awesome. I love the design of the Makita. I love the thick handles. All right, so for the Hilti, this is model number SID6ATA22. And the specs are on the bottom. We will be using a 4 amp hour battery. Battery is full. Like I said, I love the, the trigger pull like that, uh, the eject buttons to, where to tell you what the batteries is. All right, and then this is speed three settings, speed one, speed two, speed three. And it has a quad LED light on in the front. And so, yeah, let's look at the specs really quick. For the, I'll include the impacts per minute when it comes to uh, this tool. This only gives the RPM. On speed one, zero to 1,000. Speed two, zero to 1,500. On speed three, zero to 2,300. And that is approximately 500 RPMs less than the Makita. I have the torque in right now. So I love the way that Hilti feels in the hand. The over molding is perfectly, is almost perfectly as smooth, uh, lined up with the shell. But the engineering that goes in Hilti is absolutely amazing. All right, but that is the specs for the tool. So let's uh, do a little uh, torque versus video and see what these can do. Alrighty, so I have this, I have this torque bar set up to 110 foot pounds. 110 foot pounds. Remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Mine right here. So I'm sorry, it is not an impact rated socket. Battery is full. On the Makita, let's see what this can do. I'm hoping that it can. I mean, this seriously should be able to do this. It should be able to do this. Let's see what it can do. Ready? Go. It cannot. For some reason, it cannot. Because remember, it's 110 foot-pounds of torque, but it's a huge nut. It's a inch and a half nut. All right, we have speed three. Battery is full for the Hilti. Let's see if it can do it. It 
cannot. It cannot. We'll go to 70. 70 foot pounds. Let's see what these can do with 70 foot pounds. Seventy foot pounds. I'm just starting to think that these, that uh, these impact wrenches uh, can't do a, a inch and a half inch nut. All right, so let's see what this can do. Ready? Go. Time, time, time. It was able to do it. Able to do it. 70 foot pounds. Let's see if the Hilti can do the same. All right, so ready, go. I do not know who the winner is on that. Nope, smells like a regular working tool, but very good. Both of these are able to take out a 70 uh, foot pound torque down, half, one and a half inch nut. That's not bad for a very low range. It's not bad at all. Obviously their bigger brothers could do that a lot easier. All right, 150 foot pounds on a one, I think it's an inch and a quarter inch bolt. Battery is full. Let's see how long this takes. All right, so ready? Oh, safety glasses, sorry. All right, so let's see what this can do. 150 foot pounds, battery is full. Battery is full. Speed, uh, high speed. All right, so ready? Go. Tighten it back up. Put this to 150 foot pounds. 150 foot pounds. Let's see what the Hilti can do. All right, right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. So the Hilti is not. Alrighty, so let's tighten this up one more time because as you can see, later on in the video, I might have had the Hilti on speed two instead of three. So I'm doing this just in case if that is true. 150 foot pounds of torque. Alrighty, so let's see if this Hilti could actually take this out. Uh, it, is on, it is on speed three this time now, because I, I filmed this after the end of the video, so the battery is at three bars. All right, so let's see if we can take it out. Ready, go. It was able to, it was able to. So I think I had it on speed two uh, when I attempted this. Fantastic, it did it, it did it. Alrighty, so the final two tests, what we're, we're gonna do is we are actually gonna uh, put in a galvanized 5 8 inch uh, by eight inch lag. As you can see, these, these are a lot bigger than the half inch lag. So yeah, this is gonna be a good one. And we're also gonna do a half inch by 10 inch lag and see how these can do against each other when it comes to doing this. But first we're gonna do Makita. We gotta use a 24 millimeter uh, impact rated socket for the 5 eighths. Let's see what this can do. Now this is my first time on this channel using 5 eighths, so we'll see how well this does. Battery still is full. It's on a high speed. All right, so ready. Go.
in time. There we go. It, it came out right away. All right, it is Hilti's turn. That is, yeah, this this task, this task is a lot harder than the half inch by by a long shot. All right, right here is good, but full bars. It is now on speed three. All right, right here is good. All right, so ready, go. That did it. That did it. All right, so Makita is going to take its out. All right, so ready? I, I'm hoping that this is going to take it out. I don't want to take a, have to take out a bigger one. All right, so ready? Go. Wow, that thing is huge. That is so thick. All right, so Hilti needs to take its own out. All right, it is Hilti's turn. Take its out. All right, so ready, go. Time, time, time. Yeah, once again, a reminder on how the difference of size of these, that is a lot bigger. A lot bigger than the half inch. All right, so let's go to the 19 inch, the 19 millimeter and uh, see what these can do with a uh, half inch by 10 inch. I'll do the Makita first. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. That's it, time. Right here is good. Done speed three. All right, so ready? Go.
first time that actually happened where the nut was going so far it actually went with it actually went into the wood with the socket because usually the socket just bleeds up and then it strips the bolt but this actually made a this actually was going in with the socket i'm going to remind you guys that this that impact wrenches are about power with working less all right so speed it has like when it comes to comparing this to an impact driver you can't compare the two this has more power with less effort that's the point of the impact wrench to do the, the to have that sort of tool all right so let's take this out and then we'll do a final temperature reading all right so ready go came out with it interesting time 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 all right the final temperature for the makita and battery life is same 117 degrees it's the same all right so let's take out the hilti all right so ready go time all right so the final temperature on oh no, the final temperature for the hilti 121 120 degrees i got 121 somewhere but average of 120 degrees all righty so and the final battery for the makita is three bars and for the hilti is three bars as well so I do not know what the results are. I found that out during the editing of the video. Now remember, these are the very low ranged impact wrenches. Both of them are. Both of them have much bigger, more powerful impact wrenches. So these two did exceptionally well against each other. Now, I, I really don't give an opinion on which one you should get because the tool that you should get is the battery system you want to get into. But but yeah, so like I, I really don't recommend uh, which one to buy unless it's a huge difference this one's too close to tell. Uh, you just get the one that you need. Uh, many of you are gonna say that these two are garbage because it's like, why buy these when you can get the bigger ones? And so, yeah, but not everyone wants like a uh, three, you know, a 700 foot pound impact wrench. Some people just need this and these will bust the lug nuts off. Yeah, the, the big nuts are a lot, a lot harder to do. Plenty of videos coming up, you guys. If you found this video entertaining and helpful, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.